guys, welcome to today's video. Sam is killing me here, you guys. Killing me. Let me tell you what happened. A couple, like a week ago, I didn't show you guys. But about a week ago, Sam came in the house and he wet his whole head from here down was pouring blood. He had blood all over him. I didn't show it. I thought it would be a trigger. He cut his head open. How'd you do that one? The goat barn door is too low. So the the wood part, I was ducking too much and I didn't duck enough and boom, right in the head. So he got a door jam in the head. Kind of hurts. Let's see. I've cut my head open before. It still yeah. hurts. I don't want to look. I can't stand that stuff. So anyways, <laughs> I'm like, okay, fine. He cut himself. It's done. It's over. What happened today? Cut my finger with a saw. Cut his finger saw. open with a saw. The chainsaw. Seriously. The chainsaw. It just bounced off the wood and hit my finger. Oh my gosh. At least I still got my finger. And that's why I would oh. never use a chainsaw myself. What? No, I no. didn't sew it up. I need to go get it sewed I up. told him to get some Steri strips. You want to sew it up for me? You want to sew it up for me? I sew it up. You can sew it up for me. Either I go to the hospital and get it sewed up or hope that it attaches. So I told him to get some Steri strips that that could work unless he wants to go to the hospital. So I don't know. He's going to go out and he's going to surprise us. He's going to get some Steri strips or else he's going to end up in the hospital and get his finger sewed up. So annoying though. <laughs> Stay... He finally gets one knee fixed and now he's like accident prone. It's nerve wracking. Wondering, well, I don't have like, to do any work, just do nothing. Literally every single time he's outside for any length of time, I'm watching him on the cameras. I'm like, where did dad go? Where's dad? What's happening with dad? And I'm like, somebody has to go check on dad. Like, dad is a goat. You're a goat. The only other animal that I have to check around the clock on the cameras and go out and check on them are the goats. And now you. Horses. No, the horses are good. Posey and I are gonna show you, I hope. Right, Posey? We're gonna show you her trick. She's like, no, there's no tricks here, Laura. Okay. First of all, I made a harness, a little piggy harness. She hates the harness, but we're doing the best that we can. So I'm gonna show you my trick, hopefully. Anyway, I ordered a harness. I actually ordered two harnesses. They're gonna come, don't go over there, that's not good. They're gonna come, hopefully next week they come from the States or someplace else. But isn't that cute, the pink one I made for her? Okay, so we're gonna do the trick in here, watch. Come here, Posey, come here, Posey, come on, come on. <laughs> All right. Earlier, it worked way better. I put her down this morning and she got free of the harness. And she was running and bucking everywhere. So I just squatted down, put my hand out and said, come here, Posey. And she ran to me with so much excitement. So that's our trick. She kind of comes. I think she's just really excited in the chicken coop because it smells. There's so many interesting smells for her. Isn't she so cute though? She's lost a little bit of weight since I got her, but I feed her exactly what she's supposed to have. So I suspect that she was kind of chubby, like her jowls were really chubby and her butt even had a little bit of extra chub on it. So I suspect that she's kind of at a good weight now. Don't get in the chicken food. Come on. Let's see if I can get her to do it again. Come on! Come on, Posey! Come on! She does it, I guess, when she's hungry. <laughs> she does it the best. Come on, Posey! Posey, get out of there! Posey! Posey! <laughs> oh my gosh. The chickens are so confused. They're all just standing there like, what is that? <laughs> Come on, little Posey girl. The hardest part about having her has been the leash. The leash training, it's the only hard part. The rest of it is so easy. She is a million times easier than a puppy, a million times, because she is so easily trained and potty training is perfection. She she would never go to the bathroom in the house. She just wouldn't do it, ever. Like I have left her, I've taken her out two times in a day and she holds it the whole entire time. Like she's so good, you guys. <laughs> Other than she doesn't love the whole leash training thing. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Come here, Posey! Come on! Come here! Posey! Come here, Posey! Oh, great. Come on, Posey! Come on! Come on, Posey! 
she's scared of the camera. Oh, did you hear that little high-pitched squeak? Here. Good girl. Yeah, good girl. Come on, Posey. You gotta get closer so I can grab your leash. Good girl, yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh, shoot. <laughs> I'm losing her. Oh no, <laughs> I lost her. Oh no. Come here, little posy pig. <sighs> Come here, it's hard to catch her again. I got her. <laughs> She's not that happy about it. Sophie went with Sam to get stitches and I'm down, going down to check the goats because like usual, they've run off somewhere. I don't so much worry about the baby, or I don't so much worry about the goats, but I worry about that little gold boy because he honestly finds trouble everywhere he goes. Oh, <laughs> the minute they hear me though, the minute they hear me, they all just come running. I can't see them on the camera. <laughs> That's hilarious. I literally don't even understand this. Like I cannot find them the whole time on the camera. I'm watching and listening for hours and then suddenly, I walk, oh look at all the babies. I walk out here. Where's, where's, uh oh, we're missing somebody. Where's Winston? Oh, there he is <laughs> with his girlfriend. Here, I brought you a treat. See if you like it. <laughs> she likes it. You want some? I'm gonna start worrying a lot less. <sighs> Don't fight over treats, here. There you go. Oh my gosh, they love these. It's literally crazy how these four babies or these five babies are allowed to play together, but poor little Winston isn't allowed to play. And we are actually missing a baby. Okay, well that is scary. <laughs> I found him, he's humping Winston. <laughs> Just where you would expect to find another brown baby. <laughs> That's so crazy. Here, you're the only one not to get any. I know, I wouldn't want it either. Quick, go fast. You'll like it, I promise. She doesn't like anything. But I'm, oh, I'm still trying to bond with her. Oh, they pulled me right out of my pocket. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Don't give your goats things that they like. All right, so everybody's good. This is our little pile of babies. I just love looking at them. They're just uh, so cute. Oh, see, now she's pushing the brown ones away. All right, everybody safe. That was not fun. Hi. That was not fun, giving them treats without somebody else here. Especially treats that they love because they were all crazy for them. Our standoffish goats were not so standoffish with those treats. Yesterday, I told you guys that I was hoping to purchase our first registered goat. You guys know I'm trying to switch from from our goats to a registered herd where we can better our lines and improve our udders and go the show route. We want to show goats. So uh, yesterday I was waiting to hear back from a lady, but I put down a deposit on our very first ever registered doling. So we'll get her really soon. Like before two weeks is up, she'll be at our house. I'm excited to introduce you guys. I already have a name for her. She's going to be, she is gonna be the foundation of our whole breeding program from this year out. We have these adorable little boys and I love them all, but this isn't, but I want to, but I wanna do it differently. It's my goal to do it differently. Uh, we learned a lot from having these ones. We learned a lot from having these amazing goats. I've loved having them. I'm excited to like continue uh, what we're doing with these guys. I can't wait to start milking them. What's wrong, little Winston? Does your mom not protect you? So even though all the other moms are super mean to Winston and don't let him be around their babies, he's got Lola and I'm so glad that he's got Lola because Sophie's keeping him. He'll be weathered soon and Sophie's keeping him and him and Lola will probably be best friends for life. God always does answer every problem that you have the best way that he can. You're a really cute little Winston. Technically, I could keep Winston intact and I could breed him to our... Oh, he's not registered. Darn it. Don't you know 